What's up? I'm back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the stack pane layout in JavaFX. So from the word stack, a stack pane lays out its children in a stack of nodes. And the stack pane is very simple to use. For example, creating a JavaFX application and has features that can be able to overlay nodes, the stack pane is the powerful one to use. So let's get started. Here in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stack pane, how to add nodes in the stack pane, and do something else on what we can do here. Okay, and I'm going to create an empty stack pane. And let's, let's name this as root new stack pane. All right, so we have an error here. Let's just simply import this JavaFX layout stack pane and we'll create the scene for our stack pane and let's pass in the root variable and import the JavaFX scene okay and let's set this scene scene to stage our scene to stage set main stage that set Scene and scene. And let's set the stage title. Understanding stack pane layout. And we will show the stage. Stage that show. Okay. So we have now an empty stack pane. What I'm going to do now is to create a node and add it inside the stack pane. For example, uh, rectangle. I'm going to create a rectangle here. So let's name the rectangle as rect. It's new rectangle. And let's set the rectangle size. For example, 300 by 400. And let's import the rectangle. Um, you must choose the JavaFX scene shape rectangle to avoid any errors. Okay. And let's set the rectangle color. Set fail. Color that we can choose whatever we want here. Colors. I'm going to choose the chocolate. And let's add another one node table. Say learning JavaFX and import the label. You must choose the JavaFX of this one to avoid any errors. And let's change the font style and the font size. Label that set font new font. For example, Arial. The font size will be 25. And import the font. Choose this one. Okay, and now we have uh, we have nodes created, and we will add the nodes in the stack pane. So let's simply call the root that get children that add all. And let's try running this application to see what that looks like. All right. So this is the stack pane. And let's try changing something else here. Let's say 400 to 300. 
and let's change the label color, text color, label that set text fill color that white. Right. And let's run this again. Okay. So let's try to add uh, one more node, for example, button. And let's name our button as button. And import the button, JavaFX scene control button. And add the button here. All right, this is how this tap in works. So if we are going to add uh, action event here, if we are going to click the button, uh, let's change the uh, button alignment. So let's try this one, let's try that one. Simply call the root variable and set the Anyway, let's try to add the button action event set on action event and let's use the lambda expression. So let's call the root let's set alignment and call the, the as the variable BTN over here, position value that bottom bottom center. Let's try this one. Okay, so if we are going to click the button, the button will change the alignment. And let's run this application here. So now if, we are, if I'm going to click this button here, the button will go here. All right. So what I'm going to do next is to create, to show you how to create this tap pane using the scene builder. This is the most easiest one to uh, design your scene. So I'm going to add stack pane. and add something else here. Let's say, for example, web view, view. Okay. And let's add a button. Let's, let's replace this one and add all right so if you were going to make any changes in your layout just go here the properties and modify something here or the layout tab, modify something here and here. So that's all. And I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you in the next video.